This is how to solve the last layer of the Mega Minx. If you are if you are watching this, you should already know how to solve till this point. But if you, just in case you don't, what you do is you solve the cross and then you do a slightly modified version of F2L. Now let's get started. First what you need to do is you need to solve the cross for the last layer. So flip all these edges. Uh, to do it when it's a little different because there are five edges instead of the normal four, but you would use the same algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that gives you a three point thing. And that's normal. So then you just turn it till there's another one that's not flipped. And you do the algorithm again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that gives you two of, two of these adjacent and one that's just by itself. And you want to hold the one that's by itself on the right. And you do the algorithm again. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And you have all of these edges flipped to the proper part. Now what you have to do is you have to cycle these edges till they're all in place. But first, ideally, you should have two that are already like that are adjacent to each other that are soft. But in most cases, you won't. You'll have them opposite or in any other way. In this case, we do have opposites. So between the opposites, you'll have one pair that isn't done. And what you between there, I recommend doing it there. Uh, you would do this algorithm: R, U, R prime, U, R, U prime two. R prime. And then you s Okay. In this case we haven't created two, so you would do the algorithm again from your perspective. R U R prime U R U prime two R prime. And we have created <laughs> another pair of these JSON. So we would do it again. R U R prime U R U prime two R prime. I have no idea what's up with my lock, but I keep creating adjacent pairs. Sorry. <laughs> R U R prime U R prime U prime two R prime. Okay. Now just do the algorithm. Ho hopefully one last time. <laughs> R U R prime U R U prime two R prime. Okay, let's do it again. R U R prime U R U prime two R prime. Okay, finally, <laughs> after a long go wait, we have created two. So now you will ho want to hold one of the two facing you and the other one to the left. And you do the algorithm till these three get cycled enough. R, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, two, R prime. And it just happened to be solved this time, but sometimes you won't have it solved, and you just do it once more. You haven't done anything wrong. And then, um, hope, and hopefully you have two uh, edges that are in the proper spot between the two corners that are placed between their respected edges. And in this case, we do. <laughs> Not like the unlucky edges, right? <laughs> and the, but the rest aren't. So you would do this algorithm: U R U prime two, R U two R prime U two L. And then we have and then you do a U move, and we we have almost cycled these, but not yet. So we do it again: U R U prime two, L prime U two R prime. U prime two L and it, these should be rotated now. Okay, and to finish it off, you do a really simple algorithm, just four moves, but it takes a little bit of time. So the algorithm is R prime D R D prime R prime D R D prime R prime D R D prime R prime D R D prime. Most of the times it won't take that long, but in this case it did and you would just rotate the next edge over where it is even though these are already mixed in, although in the end it will be done 
And remember, the D move at the very end is really important, because otherwise you'll mess up your last layer, and you'll have to do it again somewhere else. So let's do the algorithm again. R prime, D, R, D prime. 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 Okay, this last stage. Keep it over these, and do it again. R prime, D, R, D prime. R prime D R D prime R prime D R D prime R prime D R D prime and then just rotate the top till it's solved. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.